So I got my first tattoo. Uh, I think this was 2005. Uh, this was in Bandra, Funky Monkey. Some dude from LA was traveling. He happened to be the guy that was working there and gave me these stars on my hand. I don't know why. And then I got these um, 2011. I just two fish on my neck. Then Japanese style. <clears throat> the other ones on my leg. Uh, it's a rose. And this friend of mine, Fisa, she's a tattoo artist. She wants. She wanted to do something for her TV channel. She wanted my leg to fuck with. She said, yeah, come, experiment, go for it. And yeah, that's it. That's the story of my tattoos, man. No deep meaning. It's just marking. It's just fun. It's just life. It's rock and roll. This is the first one I got in right after my mom left the house for like two months to go stay with my dad. So I was like, perfect. And um, so this is basically both fast forward signs, kind of philosophy to always just look forward and uh, let everything that's happened in the past stay where it needs to be. Yeah. I got this because I love space, so uh, I got it on my hand. It's a uh, work in progress. There's one sitting left on this and then I'm going to take it up. But it's the solar system. There's the sun, there's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, no, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto is not pink yet. I'm a 90s kid, so Pluto is a planet. It is, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And there's an alien there with headphones. Uh, then I got, love is all you need. I wanted the word love somewhere on my body. And I also uh, uh, like the Beatles, so. Uh, and this is the uh, last one that I got, which is the grill. In, on my in my balcony, uh, like the balcony girl, and I really I love my balcony. Anyone who's been to my balcony knows the significance of it in mine and their lives. So when I moved out of the house, I got this, and now I'm back in the house. So I still have it.